Disney tries it. Hello everyone, and welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It. Yeah, for the first time in a long time, we're actually doing pizza. We haven't done this in quite some time on DSP Tries It, at least a chain pizza like this. Today we're doing, yes, that's right, Pizza Hut has a brand new product. It's their stuffed crust pizza, which we've had before, but it's supposedly a new bacon and cheese stuffed crust pizza. So what I did, I ordered a large with bacon on top. So basically it's bacon with bacon and cheese and cheese. So we're gonna see how that is. That's the primary focus of this video. However, Pizza Hut has also tried another new item recently, which we also didn't try, so we ordered that. It's the cheese stuffed garlic knots. Now unfortunately, as you can see, it looks like a lot of the cheese have burst out of these garlic knots and melted into the tray. That might factor into my review Considering the fact that that's not supposed to happen. The cheese is supposed to be in the knot, not all over the tray. So we're going to try this out. I think the first thing I'll do, I'm actually going to try a garlic knot. Some of it's the smaller thing. It's probably the easier thing to lift and try. So as you can see, I'm trying to lift the garlic knot that's supposed to be full of cheese. And look, all, it looks like almost all of the cheese that was inside of this has oozed out into the tray. I'm going to take a bite and see what it tastes like. Hmm. Well, I'll be honest, it's pretty flavorful. You can tell they have that garlic butter or whatever that they probably painted on top. They also have some herbs and things on top of it that make it tasty. The problem is, look, there's no cheese inside. Sorry, I take it back. There's a tiny bit of cheese right there. Let me bite the other half. Maybe I'll actually get some cheese in this one. Hmm. Almost none. What the hell? What? Mine was empty. I told you, mine is too. Like, completely. I don't even see any cheese residue. Because I, I think what happened is stuff. they made it wrong, they cooked it too long, and they all exploded. So all of the cheese that's supposed to be inside of the garlic knots has spilled out into the tray. No, I'm serious. There's like not even cheese residue in here. It's completely pastry of yeah. bread inside. There's nothing in here. I'm just making stuff this one. What the hell? I'm going to try another one. This one looks like it has some cheese in it. I'm trying to separate them. See, this one I can actually see some cheese inside. So let me give this one a bite. Mmm. That one had the cheese. So that one actually, that bite was pretty good. That was pretty flavorful because it actually had the cheese in it. So here's the thing. If you're gonna get the new cheese stuffed garlic knots, you're taking a big risk because if the idiots don't know what they're doing, they will fuck it up and all your cheese will come out of them and it will be nasty and be stuck to the, to the tray instead of inside of the garlic like it's supposed to. So quite honestly, this was a rip. By the way, this was $6. I want to emphasize that. $6 for this appetizer. It's their most expensive breadstick style appetizer, and it's made improperly. It, when the cheese is in it, it tastes good. In fact, let me finish this one. Mmm. Yeah, with the cheese in it, it's actually quite tasty and I like it. But, they fucked it up. All right, now let's try this new bacon and cheese stuffed crust pizza. First off, I just gotta show you the worst cutting ever of a pizza, look. It's not anywhere near close to even. They completely cut, every, look, this pizza piece is tiny. The one next to it is about twice as big. Whoever cut this pizza apparently doesn't know how to cut pizza. And considering it's their job, that's pretty bad. Also, look, they didn't even cut it through. So I can't even lift the piece of pizza. I actually have to take my own pizza cutter to fully cut the pizza so that I can remove the piece of pizza from the box. So whoever made our food had no effing idea what they were doing. 
Terrible job. Now I can actually lift the pizza from the box. Can you believe it? So the center looks like standard. I'll take a bite of this. It looks like a standard piece of Pizza Hut pizza. Mm-hmm. It is. You got your sauce, your cheese. Bacon topping, not bad. But what I want to do, I want to bite into the crust. Let's see what's inside this crust. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I got nothing. I got air, I'm gonna try this other side. So what I've done here, I've opened the crust for you. So you can actually see what's inside. So quite honestly, there is bacon in the crust. The problem is, from what I'm seeing, by the way, they advertise this as applewood smoked bacon inside of the crust. Okay, it's not just regular. Now we have applewood smoked bacon, which I don't understand that fad. That's like a two-year-old fad where everyone's doing the applewood smoked. I don't understand what the big deal is. I actually prefer regular bacon to applewood smoked, I'm just saying. But here you go. That's what it looks like. Problem, take a look at the bacon. It's not cooked fully. So they put bacon inside the crust before the bacon's fully cooked. It's about half cooked. I mean, it's not bad. It's not raw, but it's certainly not fully cooked. You can tell, just look, take a look at the difference in color of the bacon on the pizza versus the bacon in the crust. The other thing is, this pizza is very expensive. To get a large stuffed crust, bacon stuffed crust pizza is around 17 bucks, I believe, normal price. We ended up getting it, I think, for 12 because they have a coupon code right now online. If you go to their website, pizzahut.com, you can get this pizza for a discount. So that's really the only reason we got it. In fact, if you look here, we got another regular pizza, one of their pan pizzas, which we actually like the pan pizza style, just in case we didn't like this one. So I'll be honest, the center tastes the same as a regular Pizza Hut pizza. The crust leaves something to be desired because the bacon is not done. I'm gonna take another bite of it just to let you know if any, anything stands out of the flavor, but really it just tastes like regular stuffed crust to me. Hmm. Yeah. I would say the only major difference between the regular stuffed crust and this bacon stuffed crust, you get a bit of salt. Like it you can taste the saltiness of the meat that's in the crust. But you don't actually feel the texture of it because it's probably rubbery because they didn't cook it long enough. So, let's recap. The new cheese stuffed garlic knots at Pizza Hut explode and all the cheese is out of them and they would taste good if the cheese was in them but pretty much they're hollow shells because they cooked them wrong. The new bacon stuffed crust pizza, it tastes all right. The pizza portion tastes like a regular Pizza Hut pizza but the bacon inside the stuffed crust isn't cooked properly and therefore it just tastes like a salty stuffed crust pizza. I don't think this is going to be too hard to review for you ladies and gentlemen because both products were made completely incorrectly. They couldn't even cut the pizza correctly during this episode, so I'm going to give both of these products a one out of five. It's that simple. If they need to do their job properly. Now, of course, you may go to your local Pizza Hut and the, the, the bacon will be cooked and they won't overcook these and pop the cheese out, but I have to review based off of what I see. Our Pizza Hut apparently doesn't know what the hell they're doing, can't even cut a pizza correctly, so I give both of these products a one out of five. I say I do not recommend them. I would say go with the basics. Go with a regular pan pizza if you're going to Pizza Hut because that's the stuff that's consistently good. Yeah, the chicken Hawaiian, really delicious. My bacon was under as well. Mm -hmm. And my garlic knot did not even have a scrap of cheese. I don't even think it was Well, there filled. it is. You want your cheese? Go ahead. Get, a, get a knife or a fork filled. and scoop it up. There it is. There's the evidence <coughs> of all the cheese. You can still have it if you want. One out of five. One out One of five. One out of five. They screwed up. Pizza Hut, how dare you? That's it for this episode of DSP Tries It, everyone. We'll see you next time.